Nothing hits the spot like a comforting bowl of soup or noodles, especially when all you have to do is add a little hot water and <laughs> you've got a meal right there. All right, today, we investigate instant soups and ramen noodles that you've been stocking up on for the last couple of months because they're easy and they're affordable. But they're not just a dorm room favorite anymore. Ever since the pandemic, sales have been booming. But what's really in these boxes and packets? From chicken noodle soup to shrimp ramen, we sent your favorites to two former Top Chef contestants, Dale Talde and Richard Blaze, who competed in the same season. They tasted, analyzed, and uncovered the healthiest and most delicious ones in your supermarket. Chef Dale Talde and Chef Richard Blaze join us now from their home kitchens. Richard, how competitive are you with each other? And be honest. Oh my gosh, Dr. Oz, we are, we're like superheroes of the culinary world. I'm kind of more of Dale's sidekick, but we're super competitive. All right, I see you guys are in your warm up mode. I like this. All right. So we actually gave both these wonderful chefs an Oz instant challenge with a surprise twist. But before they go head to head, Dale, walk us through some of the most popular options for both ramen and instant soups at the supermarket. Let's start with the instant ramen. Sales of these noodles jumped 500% last spring. So what's the deal? Yeah, Dr. Oz. So these noodles come in a bowl or a bag. Um, oftentimes, they are a wheat noodle, um, but they come in flavors like shrimp and chicken and pork and beef and sometimes vegetable. And they are a really quick, easy, affordable way to get a meal on a table. Um, even us chefs love to get on these after, after work late at night. They're <laughs> super fast. All you need is hot water in about three minutes. And what about the instant soups? Which ones, which ones are most popular at the supermarket? Yeah, I mean, instant soups, I mean, it's all about the classics, Dr. Oz. We're talking about French onion soup or dip. And of course, you got to have that chicken noodle soup. Those are the classics and the most popular ones at the store. All right, Richard, you know what? Since you're in your kitchen, let's see what you've uncovered about instant soups. Walk us through how they turn, for example, French onion soup, which takes at least an hour to make if you're on your own, right, into a packet of powder that's boom, ready immediately. That's right, you're at a restaurant, you're making French onion soup and it takes hours to slowly cook those onions. But here's the thing, to make uh, one of these soup packs, you're just dehydrating these natural ingredients. So in the French onion soup pack, you have dehydrated onions, you have onion powder. Uh, of course, you're gonna have some flavoring and coloring that goes into there, whether it's sugar or yeast extract. Uh, and then you're gonna have a couple of ingredients that if you don't know what they are, they're there as anti-caking ingredients. They're desiccants, and they're just to sort of increase viscosity, mouthfeel, and texture. Yeah, you can't pronounce them, but they're not necessarily bad for you, and it does make life much more efficient. All right, what about the chicken noodle instant soup specifically? What do we need to know about the chicken? I mean, how does it get to look yeah, like well, this? Yeah, well, listen, here's the thing about uh, the chicken. It's, it's, it, it's actual chicken. It can be actual chicken. Look for packaging that says real ingredients. And you're looking at, again, dehydrated and or freeze-dried ingredients. And I know that Dale will agree with me here. This chicken powder, what is the flavor? It's just like a bouillon cube that you would use at home. And it ends up, especially when we're competing, Dale and I have competed so much together, <laughs> it ends up being like a little secret ingredient. It boosts umami, it's a flavor booster. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. <laughs> so there's a lot of flavor that's in chicken powder. Who knew? So Richard, let's be clear about these soups though. They do have a lot of sodium. So what should you do if you love the convenience of the soups, but you're worried about too much salt? They do, there's a lot of sodium in there. It's obviously for flavor, it's also as a preservative, but I would look for packages where the sodium is less than 600 milligrams and or I would dilute the soup base a little bit or I wouldn't use all of the flavor pack, but definitely be on the lookout for the amount of sodium in these. Let me give you a healthy hack that might make your favorite instant soup a little healthier. As you point out, you can actually use half the packet of seasoning. You don't need most of it. Then add a cup of potassium packed leafy greens like spinach, one of my favorites, which can help with blood pressure anyway, but can counter the extra work your heart has to do to pump all that sodium. We look like this, easy to make, simple, no lost time, and even healthier. All right, next up, ramen. Now, you may remember ramen from your college days, but take a look at how it is uh, firing up a new challenge. If you're up for a spicy challenge, I say you should try this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Uh, oh. Spicy. I'm about to start sweating up in her. Alrighty, I'm tapping out. 
feel sweat dripping down the back of my head. That was too much. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm coughing because it's so spicy, I can smell it already. <laughs> I know you all love spicy red hot foods. I'm gonna do it. I'm taking the red hot ramen challenge. <laughs> it's not fair. I'm tapping out too. That is crazy. Why do people do this to themselves? And we've covered the allure of these spicy foods on the show before, but this is a whole new level. I can't even, Dale, I can't even talk. Talk about what you're supposed to talk about. These ramen, they come in less fiery flavors, right? Chicken and shrimp. Talk, talk about that stuff for a while. Whoa. Yeah, Dr. Ross. So I grew up with the more basic flavors like shrimp and chicken and beef. And just to kind of tap into what Richard said, these are actual ingredients. You know, when you see shrimp flavored in, in, in these little packets, they are just dehydrated, um, dried shrimp. And they also come with these noodles, right? These noodles are weak generally. And what happens with these noodles is they're cooked, they're either dried and or fried, and that's what gives them such a quick cook time because they are already cooked. You know what I'm stunned by is how this is actually real food. Soybeans are dried. You've got dried corn, dried onions, peppers. So it's actually all real food just dried up. In fact, look at these baby shrimp over here, guys, in case you missed them. They're sort of cute. So you've uncovered a caloric surprise, unfortunately, about instant ramen. Yeah, so crazy thing is one of these bags, which I always understood or thought was a single serving because I never shared, these are actually meant for two. It's a serving size for two. Does it, does it actually say it's, two, it's a serving for two people? I would never have thought that it even. Act, yeah, I know. Actually, if you turn around the bag, it says... <laughs> Serving for two, well, but we never ate it like that. One of these bags has almost 400 calories and 1,600 milligrams of sodium. That's, you know, a good way towards your daily value that you're allowed for your whole day. All right, so Dale, what do you look for when you're buying a healthier instant ramen? Give us another option. Yeah, so like I said, I think we're looking for some of the bag that has to say under 200 calories, um, but you're also looking for serving sizes of one. So you're not tempted to kind of just eat the whole thing, but also jazzing up and, and adding to this bag of ramen, like fresh vegetables, lean proteins, um, like beef or pork, shiitake mushrooms are t a big um, flavor enhancer, and also eggs, which who doesn't love a soft boiled egg? And this is real food, simple, easy to add. I love these concepts. I love the quickness of them. I love the price as well. Okay, when we come back, we played nice long enough. Our two chefs face off big time to make the healthiest instant soup and ramen meals. And we have a surprising twist from someone who knows how competitive both chefs can get. We'll find out when we come back. We are back with our investigation into instant soups and ramens. Two top chefs, Dale Taldi and Richard Blaze, are going head to head in an Oz Instant Challenge. And I called on a top culinary mastermind who dishes it up each week at our show to come up with a surprising twist. She knows Dale and Richard very well because, well, she's judged them before. Hi, Dr. Oz. Hi, Dale and Richard. I miss you so much, and I can't wait to see you on this season of Top Chef. Here's a pantry challenge I know any Top Chef can master. We need an easy meal using instant box soup or ramen. It has to be quick, under 30 minutes, budget-friendly, and it has to include Dr. Oz's favorite green, kale. Good luck. Ha, kale. I knew that would throw you off. Oh, my God. Uh, Gail's the best. All right, let's see what Richard's cooking up. He chose instant soup. What makes instant soup a pantry ingredient you should not underestimate? Okay, listen, Dr. Oz, this is for Gail Simmons now. I mean, listen, uh, instant soup, it's got so much flavor. It's bringing umami to the game. Uh, and it's used in a lot of my sauces and dressings. So I'm making a dish today. I am doing a uh, French onion soup seasoned chicken Caesar salad in less than 30 minutes. And what I've done is I have seasoned my chicken with the dehydrated onions in the French onion soup mix. Then I'm gonna sear that off. And then of course, because you know we've been on quarantine a little bit, I've been working on my butter jump shot. So I, there it Whoa. is. That was only from about three feet, but I get the butter in the pan. Stuck it. I am gonna just ro toast the chicken. And then here's the part that I'm really excited about, Dr. Oz. One, I'm making a salad with kale for Gail and against Dale. And I'm using the chicken powder uh, in the dressing. So I'm making a chicken uh, soup seasoned Caesar dressing. 
And then from there, it's really, really simple. I'm just gonna toss my kale, my romaine lettuce. I'm gonna throw in some artichokes because I'm here in California today. And at the end of the day, I am left with a French onion soup seasoned chicken salad with dressing made from the chicken soup packet. Less than 30 minutes, affordable, easy, and I hope delicious. I know mine is here. Well, the kale for Gale against Dale tastes fabulously good. So does the chicken, by the way. This scallopini nicely thinned out, elegantly done, Richard. Proud of you as always. I love that you use two different instant soups as well. You proved the possibilities are endless. Chef Blaze, appreciate it. Now, Chef Dale has his take on ramen. What makes ramen such a versatile meal starter? Dr. Oz, what makes it such a versatile meal starter is that you just don't need to add water to it. The noodles by themselves are a wonderful product that you might be able to use as a stir fry, as say, you know, ground down and a crust for a pizza. I've been able to use it for air, our, my salmon dish. So what I've done is I've taken my salmon and I've uh, pulverized it and I've added it to flour. I've added some seasonings like black pepper, garlic powder, some salt, and we're gonna take a piece of salmon here. We're Hold on, I'm, ca I'm gonna catch up to you. So uh, you pulverize this, right? You basically take the ramen and crunch it up, right? And you, you pulverize it. Then that becomes this. And then, what, then what, what do you add to the ground up ramen? Yeah, so I'm adding a little bit of all purpose flour, some salt, some pepper, and some uh, garlic powder just to kind of season this. This is like your breadcrumb or your coating for your salmon. Oh my goodness. Then we're gonna take a little Dijon mustard and add it to the salmon, not the, the, the flesh side of the salmon, and then we're gonna put it in a skillet that is cold. You don't need to put this into a hot skillet. You want that, uh, you want that crust to get nice and crispy so you can start it off in a cold pan and then bring it up gradually. Wow. Perfect. Wow. And wow. look at this, look at this. Oh. Yeah, so they're, it's, it's, they're, they're it's swimming. instead of just noodles, yeah, you have a, uh, a nice crust for a piece of fish. You could do it with chicken. You could do it with pork. Uh, it really lends itself to anything, even on top of something mm -hmm. like cauliflower. Look how that delicious. browns so nicely. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Oh. So to pair good. with uh, my crispy uh, ramen crusted salmon, I know, I, I know you love kale. So what I did was I took, um, I took some kale, some tomatoes, onions, and garlic, red wine vinegar, and a little bit of soy sauce, and my chicken powder mix from my ramen bag, and I made some braised kale. So Ooh. I braised that down, and I'm putting that on top of the plate, and I'm gonna top it with my salmon here, and that is my dish for you. Salmon mm. with ramen-crusted salmon with braised green and, like wow. it. and nothing wasted at all. Use the seasoning, use the ramen in a very elegant way. Mm. Oh, and the kale from Dale is spectacular as well. Guys, you both nailed it. I'm so proud of you. I'll, I'll give good feedback to all the Top Chef folks because you deserve it. What you did really was make something very elegant out of something that does not cost a lot of money, which is exactly what America needs right now. So God bless you both. I'm going to post these recipes on our websites so you can try them at home.